I'm not taking any chances. They'll be mollying sandbags. Three-man stack here towards Ivy, though. It's definitely dangerous, but only if you hit your shots. Three players stacked up there. You'd expect that to be a complete shutdown, and it's not. The Glocks prevail. Only one kill found. That was Ona. The rest all crumble. And there's a C4's planted. There's really no way back in here. Native and Krivda haven't got the kit. I'm not sure if there was a kit, but if it was, then it's over towards Ivy, and it's completely unobtainable. Unretrievable as well. Krivda. Oh, does actually push up. Finds Woxic. Bomb tapped, but still no kit, so I can't imagine they'll be too fussed about it. And they all swing regardless. Find the kill and a tunnel fire. They take it 1 to 0 on 22 HP. Oh, almost connecting. Wrinkle. It'll be a little bit tilted that he hasn't hit that shot, actually, because now the re-pick is very, very dangerous. Luckily, he's got teammates to support, though. They switch to push through, and he's actually right through the smoke, looking to try and do further damage, too. Nice, oh, nice headshot from Kalix, though. Let's open up the B site. With Ona still low on health, I thought they were kind of out of this one in the 4v2 situation, but the B site was left vulnerable. And for B8, they pushed right down ramp as well, so that rotation was either going to be a massive long flank or... A really long rotation back through their spawn. For Ona, it is the flank, but he's still low on health, and Kalix is somewhat aware of it. Could just deploy the nade now and finish him off. Doesn't want to take that risk, though. Instead, he'll just hold the angle. Knows he'll win this fight if Ona goes for the peak, and, well, it's coming. There you go. Free kill for him. Takes a little bit of damage. He actually doesn't get off the first hit, but... Yeah, with Ona being so low, there's just no chance for him. No. Over towards the boxes, if anyone's holding on top of it. Ona was there, just... A little bit lower. He's made his position known. They should be aware. The Deagle firing through. Kalix can't find the shot, though. Native brings the numbers back in their favor. A lot of damage taken, though. I thought it was going to be difficult for them to get on the site and get the C4 planted without a smoke, but they seem to have done so absolutely grandly. Tara is a beautiful headshot. And now a three on three. Two of their opponents are incredibly low. These Deagles are now deadly. Ona finding Issa though. And Santaris needs to fight his way out of the corner. Emor there to support him with the AK-47. And the final man, it's Hicta. And he's only got a couple of points of health. And Santaris doesn't care. Here, but it's more than likely that he's fallen away. And as Krivda plays off of the flashbang. Spams through that smoke. He's right. There's someone there. But it's Emor and he's on the other side. Still lingering through it. Pushes in. Gets the kill. Krivda not aware of what's just happened to him a trade does come through elsewhere but Kalex is still pressing forward up towards the e-box spots the man back sight knows there's another close he's darting around but he's got to reload it doesn't matter he falls but Woxix there to avenge him it all falls onto Hicta two on one What's the man back pillar? Damage on to Emor, but more damage dealt from the nade that lands just above his head. And Woxic overkill. Maybe no one swung it. He's confident that no one plays that position. Santares. Oh, the angle. Just let go of. Just a little bit too early. Unfortunate. Either way, they've still got the man advantage. He does slip away with minimal HP to spare. And look at that. Oh my goodness. Woxic. What? I think he can spot the foot there through the hole in the pallet, and there you go. And the rest of them are over towards B. As soon as Kalix takes contact, though, now they're wrapping back to A. This is some crazy around the world strat here from B8. I want to say it's undecisive, but it's actually smart as hell. The fake, then the contact on B. As soon as they realize that they don't have an empty B bomb site and that their fake hasn't completely fooled everybody, which it never would, then they go back to A. Now, it's been moderately successful, but it's not going to win them the round. Is it? It's not even like necessarily they're playing for round difference or anything like that. It's a single elimination playoff bracket. Just want to set their dominance here, especially in the first map of a series. The greater margin they can win by, the more pressure they apply here to B8. 5v2. This is for match point here for Eternal Fire. Wrinkle with a nice headshot. Kalex can't win the duel at that kind of range. The spray control's just not there, but for Wrinkle it is. Possibility. No AWP here on the defense and the rifles. They seem to be struggling a little, but the bomb being left behind is their demise. As Krifter has to go back and get it, Woxic finishes him on the flank for it. For his troubles. Kalex. Still on the angle. The Molotov doesn't spread to his position. 
Lots of damage dealt. Look at that. Picked it down on 5 HP as they press through. That's it. It's got to be game over here. They're spamming through the smoke, not even looking at their opponents, not even giving them that level of respect. Just spam away. Game over. There you go. Zantaris, further damage. Both of these members combined HP of 13 right now. Anissa. A swing. Eventually. And finish this one off, I'm sure. Come on. There you go. There's one. And the final man's taken out by Zantaris. 